And we're back. Kevin Carbone is up. Ooh, a fall there. Kevin Carbone out here in Colorado now. Originally from Atlanta, Georgia, making it through the gotta go, obviously, because that is his obstacle he designed into the shark teeth. One, two, three, no problem. Sticking on to those warp wall angle platforms. Kevin was based out of Atlanta for a while, but now he has his company, the Makercraft, out here making obstacles all the way through the Ninja Leers, no problem, into the Pixie Stick, the spinning pipe. Can be tricky, but he's got it under control. Nice job, Kevin. Across, Geometry Dash, one, two, three, four, a lot of speed. Nice work up and into the ring chaser. Got to really go here. Looks like he's going to just take his time. Skip past that ring, no no worries. Go ahead and opt for that alternate version right there. Good control, good pace. And man, clear for Mr. Carbone. Nicely done. Nice job, Kevin. Right now we've got Michael Matthews getting ready to run. And here he goes now through the first obstacle, bouncing his way across, hopping on down into King Kong Lane, up and over the boxes. Going for the drop down on, got to go right away into it. One hand, two hands, nice catch. Transition steadies himself real quick. One, two, three. It's going to be close. He's still running like he's skating on ice. Just keep going. Worry about the worry about the call later when you're out there in the moment. They're fighting the clock as well. Into the Ninja Leaders. Pulling his way up. Sticks the landing right on the ledge. Into the Pixie Stick crossing. Time. Nice control there. Making his way across. Diamond Dash. Those things barely budged. And the final lane here. Really got to go. He's got 35 seconds roughly. One-handed crab. Short competitor needed to get that hang time required. Or to get all the way back up. Grab that alternate ring. <laughs> Line himself up here. He's got 15 seconds roughly. Make the aim just right. Uh, coming up short. Lands on his feet though. And that's going to do it. Mike. Coming up now, we've got Wyatt Herman. Wyatt's already on the move. Actually, uh, I stand corrected. This is uh, Justice, uh, Justin Michaels. Going through the got to go on the backswing. Oh. Can't quite hold on to it. Nice try. Justin making his way over to Shark Tooth. Approach, run across. Nice three-step technique. Long spinning log. The angle platforms. up to that donut. Steadies his swing for that dismount. A little stumble, but didn't overstep. Still good here on the pixie stick. Good control. Looked like a stranger on that one. And across geometry dash. Nice work. 35 seconds remain. Get way through with just a little bit of time left. Those next bars. 
Oh, he tried to static that first move onto the sideways toss, and that's not going to do it. Nice try, Justin. Up next, Andy Herman. Stand directed. We've got big on the leaderboard. You update here, Colton Supa through strong. Going on to, oh, made it through the first two obstacles. Into the drop down on the gotta go. Making it over now to the shark tooth approach. Good technique here. And into the ninja leers. Nice little toe hook. Grabs on to the second. Quick little lache. And down from the donut dismount. Pixie stick time. Can we get that transition? It's going to be tough. Not quite able to get there. Here we go. Geometry. Oh! Not able to get that one. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it for him. Nice try, Colton. All right. Up next, we got uh, Zach Eichenstein. Zach's coming out of Brooklyn, New York. The Westchester Ninja location is where he trains out of. He's got about two years of training with a little time off, six months off, somewhere in there. Greatest accomplishment was not falling on the first obstacle on American Ninja Warrior. That is one for the records, my friend. You never want to fall on the first one. And he's making his way through the first two here without much issue. Zach's going on now to the... Oh, gotta go. Hold on tight. Swing back. Hold tight. Still gets the lache. Excellent work. And lining up for the shark tooth. Whoa, just might have a little too much foot placement on the base of that wall. Might have slid down, but it's going to keep on going into the Ninja Leers. Nice. Plenty of momentum on the swing. Ah, oh, but stepped back. That can't happen once you end one obstacle and start on another platform. You can't, you can't go back. And Pixie Stick's going to be it as well. So that's one, two, three in a row, Zach. Tough break. Tough break. You can see the look on his face. Not quite happy about how that ran, uh, how that run went. Nice try, Zach. Up next going to be Jalen Bennett. Jalen's on the course right now, striding her way through. Coming out of Thornton, Colorado. Works out of or trains out of Ninja Nation up and over the box into the drop down we go. It's got about two and a half years of experience. Let's see how she does on the gotta go grab. Gotta go hold on tight. Couldn't hold on for the lache back up into the shark tooth approach. Quick feet. Uh, tough, tough fall on the hip, but she's okay. She's gonna keep on moving. Jalen climbing up to the bars for the the Ninja Chandeliers. The Ninja Leers. Good lache across. Turning around to try to get in a good position. Getting a good upswing. There it goes. Nice job. And steadies herself for the dismount. She's a full-time mechanical engineer student with four different jobs. So she is extremely busy. And makes her way through the Pixie Sticks. It's tough having all those different jobs and pursuing an education and and training for Ninja. Oh, coming down on the Geometry Dash. Nice try. And that's going to do it for Jalen. Up next, we're going to have Jay Lisa Himka. Jay Lisa goes by Ninja Chef Jay Lisa. Trains out of Colorado Springs. I think we're just checking on... Uh, Checking on her, making sure she's okay from that from that slip. 
on Geometry Dash. Camera's getting switched around a little bit. Man, Jay Lee's is already halfway through the course here. <laughs> Going quick, cameraman. Hard to keep up with old Jay Lisa. <laughs> Moving through Shark Shark Tooth. And trying to get into the position here for the transition onto the Ninja Leers. Making the transitions on to the next obstacle, Pixie Sticks. Steadies herself. Stays at it. Steadies it. Good control. She's no stranger to obstacles going all the way through. Nice job getting through Geometry Dash. Last obstacle here. Going to get a little chalk from Jesse the Jet Lucero. Takes a big breath. She's competed at a lot of different obstacle leagues. She's got seven years, but the last four is where she's been really competitive. Lining up for this sideways toss. Training out of that Lost Island warrior alongside her mom. Makes the transition across. Nice job, Jay Lisa. Come on, just got to get the transfer to the bar and the dismount for the buzzer for a full clear. Let's go. Coming off, coming off fresh from winning a first place OCR World Championship in a lot of different categories, 15K, 3K, and 100 mill millimeter all in one weekend. Great job, Jay Lisa. All right, up next, we've got Elizabeth Moxley at the start line right now. Goes by the Moxie Ninja. Coming out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Trains mostly out of the Lost Island location, which is a really cool outdoor facility attached to a mini golf family fun center. The entire obstacle course is all outdoors. Really neat spot. And here she goes, Elizabeth, on her way. Making her way through, taking the King Kong approach. Kong's over the box. And climbing up for the drop down for the gotta go. Makes the move, but can't quite hold on. Gotta have those hips back. And here we go now on to Shark Tooth. Might have been a little, little close there on the transition. Making the moves into the Ninja Leers. Loses her momentum a little bit. It's got good lock-off strength, though, so she's already pretty high and close up to the donut. Gets the clear for there. Now she's got to calm it down just a little bit. No, the pixie stick of doom takes her out. Nice try, Elizabeth. Got to have some good speed and good control, good accuracy. One, two, three, four. Oh, those were tipping all over the place, but she still gets it. Nice job. She's not doing ninja. She's scuba diving and tap dancing. Up here we go to the final obstacle. On to the ring chaser. You really got to go sideways here. Elizabeth going for the move. Can't quite get that back end hand on there. Nice try, Elizabeth. Waves to the camera. Smile on her face. One of her things she likes doing is building a positive mindset in kids and letting them know it's okay to fail as long as they never give up to reach their goals. So, Elizabeth, great job. A lot of support from the Ninja family out there on the floor. Josh Miller on the course, ready to go, already in the move here, running his way through. Makes it through the first two obstacles and right away on to the drop down for the got to go into the shark tooth one two three keep those toes up just keep on running into the chandelier throw here up and across making the dismount don't step too far forward he's gonna lean into it oh just gonna save it by putting a foot onto the pixie stick smart move and not able to stick the pixie stick here he goes on to the diamond dash, circle dash, square dash, oh, <laughs> door dash. He's just dashing all over the place. And final obstacle here. Sideways throws, continuing the laches, 
waiting on that ring. Oh, and slaps it away. Couldn't quite hold on to it. Holding on, swinging back, make the transition across. Looking for the switch grip move for the dismount and climbing down. Don't forget the buzzer. And there it is for Josh Miller. Nice run. Part, uh, up next is going to be Mr. Paul Cooley. Paul Cooley on the platform, standing by. We're going to have two more runners and then take a short break for a announcement on the floor where the live stream will stay on. And we're uh, experiencing a couple technical difficulties. Uh, we will address those. We appreciate y'all's patience as we continue to try to hone this, hone this event in. Paul Cooley on the path, making his way through, strolling the park, stepping around downtown, over nice little Kong vault there, climbing his way up to Gotta Go, Lachey's on to it. Enough swing forward in order to get it. Into Shark Tooth. One, two, three. Ken couldn't quite save that one either. He's going to keep on going, though. He's got one more chance to get a couple more obstacles. Deliers. Making, making the move down. And reaching out. Nice static holds on all of these obstacles. And right on the ledge. Careful there. That platform is the end of one, start of the other. Paul's trying to calm it down a little bit for the pixie stick. Oh, going quick into it and able. Dash one, two, three, four makes it. Crash and burn, but to the finish. Safely. Ah, uh, and unhook the salmon. That's. So anybody that this has happened to has been given a little bit of time to. Uh, meant to be. Slide. And catch the ring. Easier. Same thing goes for all the competitors, but there he goes, locks it in. Same thing goes for all the competitors, but there he goes, locks it in. Starts making his way through. Close the ring, not quite able to get there fast enough. That's okay. Into the alternate version of the ring. Make a wish on the wishbone. Makes that transfer right away. Oh, but can't make the transfer off to get to the buzzer to clear that obstacle. Tough break, Paul. Coming up next. Oh, I think somebody was rubbing a rubbing a lamp because Genie has appeared at the start of the course. The Genie Ninja Thomas Stillings. Turn to a run. Thomas, longtime ninja, already on the move here. Well versed in parkour. Handspring over the box. Nice and over goes the box. for the drop down. Always good to see Thomas. Down. And no, again, we've seen that <laughs> common mistake. One hand and then the other. You got to match real quick with it. Good fancy footwork. Good save. Is he going to save it? No, my gosh. The genie. I, the obstacles, but he's still going. Uh, that's going to be two strikes. One more. Can he save it for the rest of the course here? Nice grab on the side of the ninja here. Until the next time. Nice try, Thomas. Nice, good bad. seeing you out here. Up next. Do a quick announcement. They're going to do a uh, quick announcement on the floor. So 
Stand by, folks. Sorry. I almost broke my ankle, John. Pick up your water bottle. Right. Yo, this? dude, yo. Who's this? this? Oh, it's not like. Right. Here, I'm going to put it right here. That's not in the way. Competitor on the move right now, we've got a Heidi Jorgensen on the course right now. Making her way over the boxes into the got to go. Grab, getting that machete built up. See how she does. High grab, but only one hand, then the other. Couldn't quite stick both on there in order to maintain the grip needed. She's lining up for the running log. Sprinting across, can't quite stick that one either. Gonna climb up onto the shark tooth approach into the ninja leer as we go. And looking for the transition. Trying to get that swing built up just right. Back and forth, trying to get the swing. And for the dismount, oh, the swing kind of coming to a stop there. Good save on the dismount. Looking for the pixie stick. That's breath. Starts steps. All the way through, and no problem. Unfazed. On geometry dash. One, two, three, four, toe clip, yes. oh, but that's across yes. the plane. Looking at the shoe, making sure it's still attached. Nice job. Heidi. She's got a, have a clip on the knee there. Let's see it. She's okay, she's gonna go ahead and step off to the side. Right now, we've got Sam Folsom. Sam's been flying his way through. He's been a strong competitor. He saw his younger brother run earlier today. Up and over the ball box we go into Gotta Go. Right way into it, like a pro. One, two, three through the sharp tooth. Coming out of Dorsey, Illinois. Training out of the barn. No problem through the Ninja Leers. Got some crazy obstacles he's cooked up out of the barn himself. Across the pixie stick and piles it right on out of there. Let's see how he does. One, two, three. Oh, not able to get it. Sitting in his mouth right away. Got, got popped pretty good on the way down. Hopefully he's okay. He's going to still keep driving on here. Unfazed, fighting through the pain. Plenty of time. Up and over the ring and out of there. One slight mess up. Give this man an ice pack. He says he's okay. He's waving everybody off, but man, that was a that was a bit of a bit of a bump on the noggin. Sam, nice run. All right, coming up next, we're gonna have. Baby Bergie on the move already. Kayla Bertram coming out of Florida. Down there in Seminole, Florida is where he's from. Already through, my goodness, already through half the obstacles. I can't even keep up with this man. Shark Tooth is already all the way onto it. Strong competitor out of the Jungle Gyms where his family runs that location. And getting ready to get through the Ninja, Ninja Leers. They recently just held a big multi-stage competition as well. 
Oh, but a little slip up on the approach on the pixie stick. Here he goes real fast across the great footwork going through geometry dash. And got to make sure he's got enough technique here. Catch the ring towards the end. Plenty of speed, plenty of hang time. No problem grabbing that one up and over. And gets the dismount. Plenty of time. Would have been potentially the fastest time had it not been for that slight mess up on the pixie stick. But great run by Baby Bergie coming all the way from South Florida. You ready? You ready to pause? Yeah. So we need okay, you. that's fine. You gotta be close up. I got all right, you. it looks like we're gonna go into an announcement now for one of our fundraisers. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to the action in a minute. But here's a message from our fundraiser. Yeah, you talk. Okay. Sponsor. Here. Nice transition 
getting it through. No problem making it through the Ninja Leaders. Into the Pixie Sticks. Takes a second to reset. Dial this in, taking it nice and slow. Can't do that 90 degree turn. Not quite able to get there. Plus three. Nice try, and that's going to do it. Great. Good job, Competitor Noah is in the house. Uh, Noah turn that. Coming out of Parker, Colorado, trains here at Ninja Intensity, so this is home turf advantage. But again, even if it's the home gym that you are at, you don't know the obstacles you're going to have to do. So let's see how he attacks this course in his home space. Pace right off the bat into Got to go nice high Lachey in order to have that momentum required. And into sharp teeth. One, two, three. Tick tacks right off that warp wall into the angled steps. Excellent job. Making his way to short work on the lower portions of the chandeliers. Budged. He looks comfortable on a lot of these obstacles. Ooh, not sure know, if that's going to give. Is that, that's going to count or not? He's going to keep on pushing through here. On to the lache bars and sideways. There goes the ring. Drew's going to have to use that whole one. And oh, just missed off to the side. Nice try, Noah. Get the that one, thank you. And the ball. This way again. Okay. Strong competitor has been on American Ninja Warrior the last couple of seasons. Let's see how he does out here today in this Colorado altitude from the Illinois location. And into oh, the Lachey across just came up short. Got to go in. Uh, not enough forward momentum off the spinning pipes. Go ahead and take his time here. He can't make any more mistakes. Transition. Cross moves quickly to the first two chandeliers and tip donut. I think they called him out somewhere else for some of the form. Tough break cam. Strong competitor. Some things just don't pan out the way you want it to on game day. Yeah, that's a tough break for Cam there. Strong guy. I'll be working with him and alongside a few other ninjas at an event next weekend. So even yeah. hanging out with him <laughs> later. But up now we've got Amelia Lenardi. Lenardi on the course right now. Amelia is, uh, goes by Meals on Wheels. Coming down into the Kong vaults up and over. Nice job. Down there at St. Petersburg, Florida, training out of the jungle gym. Go on to the drop down. Can't you hold on for the backswing? Can't quite hold on. Moving on to the shark tooth run up. I just need to really commit to that. It's tough to do. Don't give up. Don't give up. Anything that's going to be unstable on your footing is going to be really intimidating. for the chandeliers. Get it. There you go. Makes the move across. Spinning around, looking for the transition up to the donut. Oh, come on. Holding on tight. Keeping those feet up. Needs to get the legs going again. Try to build up that momentum one more time. 
trying to get a couple more swings in. Nice job. Dismount there. Yeah, looks like that was three there. I think her heels touched uh, on the black pad. Didn't have incidental contact. You gotta yell. <laughs> incidental contact is rounds for uh, elimination. Right, Tyler Kurtz is up next. TK Tricks. Tyler's on the course right now. TK Ninja Tricks. Coming out of Harriman, Utah. Trains at the Ninja Warehouse. Three and a half years under his belt. Up and over the vault boxes he goes. No problem through Stroll in the Park and the split decision. Let's see how he does on this one here. Big Lache up, hold on tight. Makes a quick transition across. No problem there on the gotta go. Hold on, good work. Keep those feet under you. Forward momentum through into the chandelier swing. Staying relaxed. Dismount now. Ooh, heels were a little close. Gotta watch there. those heels. Making his way across the pixie sticks right on the corner. And diamond dash time. Circle squares. That's a hard fall yeah. there. Oh, there's a free chiropractic adjustment for you. And moving on to the sideways. Not sure, he's just gonna hold on tight here to get all the way through this obstacle. That, trans that transition over. Up and across. Too far and makes the dismount. Put some time to spare. Okay. Let's go, Miles. Up next. Let's go, Miles. You got it, buddy. Miles Knight. Coming up now on the platform. Miles Knight on the move. Goes by the Shoeless Ninja. Coming out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, already through the walk in the park. Coming up and over all those platforms there for the Godzilla side. Walking the spikes of Godzilla into the drop down for the gotta go. Let's see how he does. Hold on tight, makes the grab, almost right, gets right, the transition. Moving. There it goes. To the shark teeth. Ah, uh, not enough forward momentum there to make it all the way to the platforms. On, most I'll recently he got first place at a UBW in his eighth bracket. And fourth place at UNAA Feet Worlds up, Miles. 2021. Here he goes now on to the chandelier swing. Ninja leers as they like to call him here. Good, you stay across. He's swing a little off angle, there you go. makes it onto the donut. Now he just needs to Get steady himself right for the dismount. There you go, good. Great job, Miles. Uh, platform. It's going to be Sean Williams. Sean at the start line. Waiting for the word to go. And he's off. He's trying his way through. Strong apart. Coming over the ball boxes into the drop down. It's the shade. Lucks it right away down into the traffic bar. Two steps, all he needs. Step his way through. It's a good backswing for the Lache across. Sticks the landing after the donut. He's moving on to the fifth stick. has got a great pace here. No. Just a little bit. That's all it takes. Slipped up there. Cross. Oh, yeah. Coming in hot. So. He made it to the red, right? That's all that he's good. Quick on to the ring chaser. Just oh, missed the it. Ring. Next swing up and over into the next hook. Just at a minute or so for the finish nice. there. Just a slight yeah, misstep yeah. off of You're the good. pixie stick. It's, it's a fair amount. Most of them except for that just
Jeremiah Boyd on the course right now. Goes by Ninja Jero. Hopping his way through Walker Park. Burnsville, Minnesota is where he comes out of. Obstacle Academy and Conquer Ninja where he likes to train. Moving really quick here. All the way on to, we got to go. Good Lachey's great technique straight into. Coming in hot, coming off of the Shark Tooth. Way into the Ninja Leers. Nice back swing. Way maintaining that forward momentum. Slower approach. Try to make sure he gets through smooth. Take the Kong route. Haven't seen too many smaller competitors do that yet. This is going to be a big move. He's going to have to leave his hips back. Good form. Oh, he's a little outstretched. Oh, it's another foot down there. All right, he's got one more fall here to play with. Feet up, Ty, okay? Leers here. Big pullback here. Nice transition. Oh, way up to the donut. Yep, no drop there. Maintains his balance. Dismount, got to be careful on the pixel stick here. Oh, it goes down. Oh, Good job, Ty. There it is. That's three. That's three, Ty. And that'll be it. Three right there. Ty. So close, so close on gotta go. go Next up is Hans. Hans Hertz coming out of Castle Rock here. So, hometown, home gym, Ninja Intensity. Already done the first, first two obstacles. No frog, real quick there. Making his way up to gotta go. Been training Ninja for a long time now. He's on American Ninja Warrior Jr. back in the day. Striding across, great technique, looking really <laughs> calm and composed out there. Yeah, he is moving right now. Hans, no stranger to competing. He has been in the game for a little bit, for as long as I can remember. Oh, he's going right into it. Pixie stick. Wow. Real quick moves there. Two, three, and flawless through the geometry dash. Oh, baby. She is moving. Now, two-time UNAA world champion. And gets the yes. ring. Yeah. Get the transfer. Cross. Going for the dismount right away. There it is. Good, yeah. uh, good catch. And there's the buzzer. 55 seconds. Well, that so might have been one of the smoothest runs we've seen all day. Goodness. That was very smooth. <laughs> From Hans there. Impressive work. Hans works. <laughs> Next up, we got Greg. Greg Odom on the course right now. Greg hopping on down. Striding across the ball boxes. Making his way over to a drop down. Yes. Ah, just slapped at the bottom. Needed a little, needed a little bit more height. Tight. Ooh. Tough fall there. 
He's going to keep on going. Those are chandeliers. Gets that swing built up. Swinging through up to the donut. One-handed swing here. Having strong shoulders. Roll tight. There it is, third swing. And gets the swing down into the pixie stick we go. Swing across, a little bit turned around, needed to be facing that other direction. And that's going to do it for Greg. Nice try. Job Taggart's coming up. Job on the platform, getting ready to go. And Job is off. It's coming out of Jefferson City, Missouri. And then a home backyard, and Jim's way trains mostly. Nice job over the camp, the Kong vault, King Kong vault, no problem. Let's see if you can handle this big swing here. Nice height, nice little shade. To the finish platform he goes, rocking the danger zone shirt. One, two, nice three. job. Very smooth through that balance tank there. To the Ninja Leaders. Kicks it. Good measure. That swing built up. A little bit more off to the side to get the donut just right. There it is. Go to dismount. Boom. Sticks the landing. Don't think too far. Goes the pixie stick trick. One way. Another. Take his, oh, take his time. Oh. There it is. Right to the end there. Two, three. Oh, oh, tap we down in the middle. Hit there. Man, that one is a scary one. Last one. Big jump. Hang time. Chop Joe moving his way through. The, really got to go. Get sideways. To the alternate ring. He's running out of time here. Yeah, it's going to be close. Oh, just a little shy, but still a great run by Joe. Yeah, he had to go there. Had to take that risk at the tail end. Good run. Cruise along here on to competitor number 147, Emily Schubert. Goes by the Crazy Sock Ninja. Coming out of Greenwood Village, Colorado. Trains at Ninja Nation Centennial. And this is her one-year anniversary for training Ninja. Let's go, Emily. Make your way through. Walk in the park. Stroll in the park. Onto the King Kong boxes. Up and over. Here goes the drop down. On Gotta Go. Looking for the move here. We're on tight. Ah, the grip. Hard to maintain. Strides. Oh, needs to have those feet turned sideways just a little bit. Hitting the hitting the spinning pipes with the forward-facing foot. Right down the line is really easy to get off axis, causing it to spin even faster. On now to the chandeliers here. Bit of a back swing. Take a couple swings here to make sure she's got the distance. Gets the Lachey across. Now has to try to build up that momentum once again, but with the amount of swing that these have, if you don't have a lot of momentum, it's going to be hard to build it back up. That's going to do it for Emily. Nice try. Come on, Brody. Coming up next, we got. Let's go, Brody. You got it, bud. Uh, Brody Trollop. Brody goes by the nickname The Squirrel. See him coming out here, flying like a squirrel. Phoenix, Arizona, out of the Hit Squad Ninja Gym. Hopping his way through, strolling the park. And taking a drop down forward. Picking his poison here, up and over the con box. 
to grabbing Lashane oh, one hand so Brady. close on, nice try steps there not quite able to stick it chance into the men's players keep your feet up Brody Here. Oh, with the long reach, not Good quite job, able to make it. Hey, job, That's going to do it for him. Ladies and gentlemen, i got to step away from the microphone. I'm up and about. Body warmed up a little bit. Chris DeGange is going to take over, give my voice a break so I can go break my body, and uh, hopefully <laughs> come back in one piece so I can keep commentating. Paul Woods, take it away on the course alongside Mr. Ninja DeGange. Thank you, sir. Excited to see this run. He's from the Northeast. Trains at Action Athletics. Leaves his hips back. It's a good catch. Through the balance tank. One of the smoothest we've seen so far today. about Paul is very clean right now. Oh, the geometry oh, dash absolutely crushing ninjas out here today. Yeah, I think, I think Such a difficult that. obstacle. Your foot still going to be a really nice run for Paul. He was really smooth throughout. He's the matrix if he didn't hit that one. Gets the buzzer. A really, really smooth run, other than the geometry dash. Uh, impressive from Paul out here. Caden and Max are getting these ninjas going quickly. We will check on the leaderboard uh, a little bit later after the action calms down just a little bit. But uh, we can't even look away for two seconds here. Tyler Smith is up. Very smooth. Tyler's going to finish. Had to use a couple falls there, but overall, a good run. And next up, we're going to have Elijah Browning stepping up to the course. Excited for this run. Elijah, another one of the teenagers who took American Ninja Warrior by storm this year. right now looks very comfortable right now you know you get a couple of falls but it, you want to be higher up on the leaderboard and so getting through this clean is going to be really important and he just looks calm there money, money, money. wow so smooth through the geometry dash 
He's got one more obstacle here. Don't know if he'll be fast enough to get the ring here. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Elijah, let's see if we can... Oh. He had a foot tap there, that's why he got called down. Elijah is a taller competitor, but he did tap his foot there. Got called out on the ring hop. Next up, we got Vincent Castronova stepping up. Mr. Ryan Stratus should be coming up here soon. Caden and Max uh, ready to get Vincent going here. Adjustment on the pixie stick. That's a geometry dash. <laughs> He's got time here to get that ring. Oh, just didn't time it right. It's okay though. Good transition there. Just has to hit the buzzer. Good run from Vincent Kreshner over there. Jumping right back into the action. Up next is Clark McCusker. Let's get it, Clark. Clark McCusker stepping up to the starting line. save this oh that is such a tough save if you don't go right away the mechanism locks in place and it's really tough to hold on to it's gonna be a second fall right there it's got to be careful here Tries to rush to the pixie Good work, stick. A good run, I think. I think he'll have wanted to be a little bit better, but overall, a good run. Up next, it looks like Michael Scott is up next. We're at a really good pace here. Ooh. I like it. I like the commitment there. He's moving quick. I mean, now it's all about just being consistent through these balance obstacles. He's got a great pace here. You don't really have to worry about time. Now you just settle. 
take it slow. Oh, he looks good here. He looks good. All right, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the difference maker right here. So smooth through the geometry dash. Textbook right there. Let's see if he opts to go for the ring. Set a good pace. And a great catch. Looking at right around a minute. Really smooth finish there. Plenty of time on the clock. Smooth run there. No wrap. And next up, it's Ryan Stratus. Strat from the commentary booth to the course. Strat is up, and uh, we'll see how smooth he's going to be. This is going to be a tough run for Strat. No warm up here, but he looks good. I expect Strat to be nice and methodical here. A nice consistent pace. Oh, this is going to be tough. I think he can save it. What a save from Ryan Stratus. Ah. All right, so that's going to be one. He's going to want to be clean here through the next couple. He's got a couple more balance obstacles coming up. Nice big reach here. This is going to be tough. Ops for the duck strategy. Here we go. On to the geometry dash. Oh, he grabbed the chains there. A little bit different of an approach. Strat being encouraged from the crowd to finish. Geometry Dash, he had a dip, little bit different of a strategy there. Didn't pay off, but let's see if he can get the ring here on the ring chaser. Oh. He's going to have to go for the other, other ring here. Goes to make the transfer. Let's see Strat get that buzzer. Come on. Get a little hung up here. There it is. As time expires. Ryan Stratus, our last competitor on stage one. He's going to hit the buzzer, and that is going to do it for stage one. We are going to be moving on to stage two. Uh, so we'll have stage two coming up a little bit later today. The course is going to get reset. Um, we'll be back here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at our leaderboard here. Um, just a quick view from our sponsors. we got Strat coming in the back here. Uh, he's catching his breath. From the altitude, it is not easy being up here in Colorado. I am going to go ahead and get the leaderboard pulled up for you guys, but let's just take a quick look at our sponsors here. A huge, huge, huge thank you to all of our sponsors who helped make this event possible. Um, you, you know, Ninja Intensity, for starters, the host gym, um, Whipfly, Air and Company, Peak View Dental, Castle Rock Family Physicians, Colorado, Foot and Ankle, Biagi Bros, Castle Rock Microwave. Our Way Pools, Humble Midstream, Stronghold, Pro Lift, Crane and Rigging, which we will see a little bit of that when we get to stage four. Um, Zimmer Biomet, Castle Rock Autoplex, you know, MB Roofing, Copeland Precast. Just really a huge thank you to all of our sponsors here today, um, helping these athletes get out here and putting some good prize money together for a really exciting event. Um, let's go ahead and look at our leaderboard here. And it looks like, pull up this leaderboard here. Oh, so we have one more runner. This was not on the run order. I'm not sure if this is a fun run or not, but we'll stick with it here for a second, just in case. It, I'm being told it's a rerun, getting message from the field. Uh, that this is a rerun from a course malfunction potentially. Uh, it sounds like our correspondent down on the floor, Ethan Swanson, is saying that this is a rerun uh, from course malfunction here. Oh, the 
shoe came off. Nope, the shoe didn't come off. That was my fault. Sorry. As far as I'm aware, that should be our last runner. I don't know if anything else is going to get thrown at us, but let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard real quick, um, and then we'll hear from Ryan Stratus, who just ran the course in a second. So we got Hans Hertz taking first place away from Ethan Swanson. Ethan held onto it for so long, but Hans with one of the cleanest runs that we've seen all day. You can see Ethan Swanson here sitting in second, Kai Backstrand in third, uh, Brett Strong. Uh, still holding on to the top five spot, Austin Reynolds. But Jesse the Jet Lucero, eighth place, Carbone rounding out our top ten. So we'll scroll through here to look at this leaderboard for a second. RJ Roman in 18th. And let's go ahead and take a look. Sam Folsom, 25th. Let's go ahead and take a look on the women's side of things. Jalisa Himka in first place. Taylor Green taking in second. Megan O'Toole taking third place, Ava Calsanti in fourth, and Annabelle Heinrichs rounding out our top five. Awesome, awesome job today from our competitors on stage one. Tune in, and a little bit later, we're getting the course reset for stage two. We will be back live for stage two. Tune back in. Uh, Strat, how did it go? Ladies and gentlemen, it looks as hard as it is. I am exhausted, not used to the altitude. Yeah, man, it was, it was man, it was tough. I didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. I didn't want to risk it for the bucket. Or <laughs> chuck it for the bucket. <laughs> it was fun. I'll, uh, I'll give you that. But I am done with the runs for today. I'll be calling. I'll, I'll be staying on the mic where I belong for the time being. I'll be staying on the mic where I belong for the time being. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Well, we oh, definitely goodness. appreciate your energy. Well, we we appreciate you being out there on the course. Get a little hands-on experience. And one more time, let's take a look at our sponsors. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to get stage.